welcome to this very special episode of Trojan Poetry. It's episode 92, and it is the first episode of season three. Count them. Three. That's right. Going That's into right. three this fingers. as much math as I know. Yep. Three fingers, three seasons. Yep. I think we've got some pretty exciting things planned for season three. More guests, mm -hmm. and we're working on a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Right? So we Bigger, get actually better. maybe more discussion. Yeah. Because that's one of our goals is actually discuss these poems with people. It's not just to make these videos and mm -hmm. look foolish. Right. To get you, the viewer, involved as much as we can. As much as you can, actually. Yeah. So, I've chosen the poem. Mike has not seen it. This is called End of Summer, and we've got a song coming up by Aretha Franklin, who we mm. recently lost, so I thought it would be a, a kind of a nice way to remember her. So this is End of Summer by Stanley Kunitz. An agitation of the air, a perturbation of the light, admonished me the unloved year would turn on its hinge that night. I stood in the disenchanted field amid the stubble and the stones, amazed while a small worm lisped to me the song of my marrow bones. Blue poured into summer blue, a hawk broke from his cloudless tower, the roof of the silo blazed, and I knew that part of my life was over. Already the iron door of the north clangs open. Birds, leaves, snows order their populations forth and a cruel wind blows. So yes, we have mm. gone back to school. It is the end of summer. <laughs> <laughs> so I went in search of end of summer poems. This yeah. isn't quite what I had in mind. Right. Well, you know, day one of school, always the cruel wind blows. I mean, that's just how it that's With just our how new it air works. conditioning, it's hey, actually kind of a nice Yeah, one. I know. Yeah, it actually, nice one, we yeah. actually have AC for the first time this year yeah. in parts of our building. So yeah. it's unbelievable. Uh, what's also unbelievable or believable that mm -hmm. I found, I, w I was looking through and the first thing that jumped out to me were just the negative, oh man, all yeah. the negative descriptors here, all these adjectives, uh, well, agitation, noun, perturbation, noun, admonished verb, disenchanted field, yeah. Um, stubble, yeah, blazed, yeah. iron door, clangs open, I mean, it's just all bad <laughs> yeah. and you know it's that idea when he says that part of my life was over that's the turn as far as i can tell when he's taking all of this in and he realizes that something is over which exa is exactly how i felt knowing that summer was its work was looming mm -hmm. summer was coming to a close but i wonder i mean is it more than that is it more than just a season coming to a close what did you think right well and well, i think what's interesting is yes that part of his life is over but nothing good is coming. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, it is not just because the summer has ended. Because, I mean, what really got me, like, it just compounds, the pain of this poem just compounds the mm -hmm. more you look at it. Mm -hmm. um, and he said, admonish me the unloved year would turn on its hinge that night. So something happened right in the, maybe in the beginning of the year, things weren't going well. Mm -hmm. And I really like that image of the year hinging. Right. right? And, but it doesn't seem, by the end of the poem, like it's hinging into anything better, mm -hmm. right? And just that, the compounding of the pain uh, and the really, really sad, while a small worm lists to me the song of my marrow bones, right? Like, he's so low that it's a worm that is singing his song, right? He yeah. feels... And we actually did a poem about a worm, mm -hmm. but those worms were pretty rebellious. Yeah, I don't right. know if you remember, <laughs> so I'll, I'll link to that. They were messing around. Yeah, yeah. These worm, this worm in particular, though, yeah, and the He's fact lisping. that it's lisping, it's, yeah. I just get this little pss, pss, pss kind of a sound. Yeah. And when you said that about the year hinging, that ties into the Iron Door of the North, right. maybe, at the end, and, it, and they order their populations forth. It just reminds me of uh, Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. you know, when the White Walkers are coming f crowding out from the north and they're just going to obliterate everything. And, you know, this poem was written in 1953, but some of that same imagery of, and the iron door of the north, it's just everything is cold and cruel and, uh, and not something that you want coming at you, obviously. Right, right. <laughs> and so just the economy, right? The economy of the language, it's so simple. There's not a word in here you can't understand. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it really does just build, and I keep saying compound, but it, like, it just keeps mm -hmm. building and building, and I don't think there's any relief mm -mm. right now. I mean, poem. it gets worse, like you said. Yeah. I mean, the cruel wind blows, and all of these things are flying forth, coming, at, coming for him or at yeah. him. And So, okay, so here's a question. So in mm -hmm. the end of the third stanza, 
he says, and I knew that part of my life was over. Mm -hmm. So is the word that, right, I knew that part of my life was over, or I knew that part of my life was over, mm -hmm. right, is the emphasis on... Yeah, specific. Words. Well, it could be the unloved year, like you said, that part of the, you know, this, I've had a terrible cycle here. Mm -hmm. That part is now over and something else is coming. Something bad. Yeah, something, <laughs> something worse. Right, right. <laughs> Um, or that part of my life was over. Yeah, is he having, is this like a midlife crisis? Is he going right. through some kind of change right. overall? All right, so I've uh, paired this with a song, uh, made, uh, sung by Aretha Franklin. It's called Hello Sunshine. So I'm going to play a part of that right now. Hello, hello. Okay, so that was from 1968. It was Aretha Franklin with Hello Sunshine. And Mike, can you imagine why I might have picked that uh, as a pairing? Well, because you were so depressed at the end of the poem that <laughs> you needed some soul music yeah, to yeah. wake you up. Uh, yeah, I mean, at the end of that poem, I was laying down on the ground with the worms, and, and now Aretha's brought me out to the sunshine when, you know, uh, it's been dark for a very long time. I can't explain what I've been through, which seems to be what he's touching on. Mm -hmm. Um, in his poem, you know, that unloved year, but he re he he doesn't go there, right? Because it's like a loved one. I was about to one. say refuses, but he, he doesn't go there. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but is it like, I because I, I thought, oh, it's like a loved one. Like he's lost a loved one or he's broken up with someone, but he doesn't yeah. say that. It's, it's more universal. Yeah. Any yeah. reason to not like the year. But she clearly mm -hmm. makes it about a relationship, right? Yeah, well, when she says, uh, people say I act so strange. I would say a guy standing in the middle of a disenchanted field. <laughs> listening to, <laughs> listening a to a worm. Listening to a worm talk to him is probably yeah. a little bit strange. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you got the power to make me change. And the change in the poem is a negative one in terms of nature itself. But this one, it sounds like she's, she's coming up, right? Things, yep. are, things are good. And I really liked, like, here, maybe in the bridge, I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. She says, the wind and the rain, the wonders of spring don't mean a thing without you, baby. Right, that's mm -hmm. kind of... He, he's over, I mean, they're both projecting themselves onto the environment, right? Mm -hmm. That's kind of why I thought they were connected also, is that they're both people imposing themselves or projecting their own feelings onto the environment. Mm -hmm. um, and just the world is such a lonely place, right? Like, you can totally feel that Stanley Kunitz here is completely alienated and lonely. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, Aretha Franklin with Sunshine offers a little bit of, and I like how Sunshine is both maybe literally Sunshine and a person, right? You know what right. I mean? Like, that you can you read it yeah. both ways. So. Yeah. So and it's a great song. Right. I, right? Like that is said, a great the horns, song. The horns yeah. are amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> season uh, three. Season three. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, thanks for watching. Please join us at trojanpoetrydgn.blogspot.com.